Hi everyone, I am Charmi Gala, head nutritionist and lifestyle expert with Team Look. I also head the pregnancy vertical with Look. And today I'm going to talk about one of the common problems for the pregnant woman is in countries uh, like you know there is a urine leak which is also known as incontinence during uh, pregnancy and it even takes place post birth. So let's understand what are the uh, why this happens, how does this happen, what are the reasons behind it and what are the ways to prevent it. So first uh, first important thing over here is um, uh, as soon as mother comes to know that she is pregnant, the visit to the washroom becomes very frequent. And another reason is maybe because you know if she has any uh, sudden cough or sudden uh, sneeze she feels that or it uh, one of the experience which she feels is the leak of the urine okay so this is very common and it has uh, you can say so many various reasons to it now one of the reason is growing fetus which puts pressure on the bladder another reason is because of the change in the hormonal so one of the hormone which changes is progesterone as well as relaxin. So when, when there is a continuous change in the hormonal status, this is one of the common problem. But yes, with this, there are various way to help mother to make sure that the pelvic strength is really uh, strong and, the ut and basically we need to train the uterus. So let's understand what are the various ways which we can help mother which they can follow and see some changes or some relief in this one of the common problem during pregnancy so first important thing is one of the important step is at what when mother experienced that you know she is visiting the washroom very frequently one most important thing which she does is she does not take good amount of, of water or the or hydration hydration level is not well so considering that there can be dehydration which can affect the mother's health as well as the fetus so and there are certain fruits which can lead to dehydration like increased intake of caffeine like you know uh, because of the lot of hormonal changes mood fluctuation is also there and because of the mood fluctuation she may have um, chocolates, uh, she may have uh, um, coffee, tea, so a lot of caffeine related stuff, you know, she may, uh, may take it or a lot of sugar related stuff like, you know, fruit juices or something like that. This can lead to dehydration. So make sure that she is hydrated well, taking good amount of liquid, at least 10 to 12 glasses of water, uh, which can help her to prevent the dehydration, which in turn help her in taking care of the urine leak. But one of the most common question, if she keeps drinking water tea, she is going to definitely visit the washroom. Yes, she is definitely going to visit the washroom, but dehydration can be also uh, dangerous. So how in water intake should be very high. So what is the next step? How she can help her self, you know, to train the uterus. So one of the, uh, one of the experience uh, which we have experienced with our client is whenever mother basically uh, you know uh, gets an urge of urination she quickly gets up and go visit the washroom just in the fear that she doesn't soil her clothes now this creates an environment of fight and flight response this indirectly gives an um, uh, message to our nervous system that this is the way as soon as uh, you know the mother had urge of urination this is the exact way what uh, you know she, uh, she should run quickly to the washroom and uh, you know empty it out so this this response fight and flight response should be slowed down so what she needs to do it she first need to take a few deep breaths try to hold it for a few seconds and slowly she needs to visit the washroom. So this is one of the best way to train your uterus. So it's very, very important. Uh, respond to respond to the symptom, but very mindful. So this is one of the important way. Second important way is to do Kegel exercise. If the pregnancy is not high risk pregnancy, 
correct and if doctor has given green signal to do this exercise then kegel exercise or pelvic floor exercise which he definitely need to learn under a proper supervision or from a proper uh, prenatal yoga expert or the antenatal classes uh, need to learn understand and follow this which is extremely extremely important now uh, third important way which you can uh, definitely look uh, uh, forward uh, to do is uh, also you know I, I keep getting a lot of questions uh, I keep getting a lot of questions related that uh, you know uh, there are frequent uh, urinary infection during pregnancy there is a uh, frequent uh, uh, you know leak this can be because of the previous pregnancy also if the baby weight was very high in the first pregnancy mother can face this frequent urination if mother has faced constipation this is also one of the reason where you know because of the constipation there is lot and lot of pressure on the uh, bladder so this is also one of the important thing that mother needs to take that that she is you know, preventing constipation uh, during pregnancy. And there are various ways to prevent the constipation, including good amount of fiber, hydration. Uh, if mother is allowed to do exercises, that also really helps. So depending what cause, what is the trigger of the constipation in our case, definitely one is the hormonal as well as the growing fetus. But what are the other common triggers? She needs to really work on that. So which can help indirectly for taking care of the urine leak. Now, uh, also one of the things which we have, uh, you know, come across with our client is they really love to wear heels. Now, while wearing her heels, what ex exactly happens? Your, there is a disalignment for the pelvic area. Now, I will say pelvic area is one of the important thing which really helps to control the bladder. If there is a disalignment, okay, this is going to uh, you know, create that, you know, the control of the muscles is not as great as it should be. And the pressure has become very, uh, is there on the one side. Then uh, uh, because of the uh, wearing too much of heels on regular basis has created lower back pain. So a lot and lot of issues are related. So my suggestion is in case if mother really wants to wear the heels and doesn't want to um, you know go for flat foods or flat chapels or something like that then they should definitely support their uh, belly with the pregnancy belt now this baby wearing they can use a proper pregnancy belt approved by their gynec or they can look for a cloth based baby wearing which they need to learn to wear um, you know how to tie and how to give support to your belly that's very very important so considering all this stuff, uh, following good hydration, reducing the caffeine intake, uh, focusing on uh, whether they are wearing the heels, then what are the other ways like wearing a pregnancy belt they can look and if they are ready to change from heels to flat shoes, it is going to be really helpful. And one most important, in place of getting panic and rushing to the washroom, Please take few deep breaths because uh, by doing rushing to the washroom, you're actually giving the nervous system signal. This is the way you need to respond uh, to, uh, to the urge of urination. So this is very, 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 uh, you know, important to follow all these things and definitely don't miss the fun with your friends, you know, in the fear that, okay, what happens if I have a leak, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a leak of urine when if I laugh on some jokes or if I spend some good happy times where I'm smiling or if I have sneeze or cough, then how do I manage? Only one important thing I will say is carry the pair of uh, you know other clothes which where you can change yourself and in place of just feeling guilty so look for what are the triggers in your case uh, check with your expert check with your lifestyle uh, nutritionist and health coach who can help you out with the experience of our client whatever we have learned whatever we are able to guide them i have shared all the important pointers with you 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 can also try with your pregnant mothers uh, pregnant uh, um, friends so which can be really helpful in case if you have any doubt please share your uh, questions or if you have any questions please share in a comment section i'll try to reply as much as possible anyone has any question 
uh one of the question which which bothers one of the mother is uh she saying i really feel thirsty but i'm really scared to take good amount of water because it leads uh, you know frequent uh, urination so try to have maximum water intake during the daytime so your night visit of washroom is avoided try to sit down and drink sip sip of water in every one hour just have one glasses a one glass of water and try to reduce the caffeinated products in case if you are taking any and focus on your okay, a pelvic floor exercise in case if you are if if your pregnancy is not high risk pregnancy then definitely focus on pelvic floor exercise if green signal given um, by or uh, a respective doctor so then you know it, it can be really helpful and also try to figure out what are the other common triggers you know when when there is a mood swing you change you see this frequent urination what exactly if there is a constipation you see this uh, frequent urination so oh, please check it out what are the triggers in your case and then take a call accordingly any other question okay so uh, just to summarize is frequent urination during pregnancy is very common one of the common sim symptom during pregnancy so uh, and there are various cause to it because uh, there is a growing fetus which puts pressure on the bladder as well as because of the hormonal change progesterone and relaxin plays an important role so they can also lead to frequent urination but there are different ways to deal with it so first is uh, understand fight and flight response and then act accordingly or uh, you know you need to retrain your uterus second it make sure that you are not dehydrated because of this frequent urination third important thing is if you are wearing a uh, high heels make sure that uh, you are taking up precautionary measures for the same and if you are changing from high heels to flat foot it is definitely going to be uh, flat chappals i mean or flat shoes it is going to be really helpful uh, so you can focus on that as well as train yourself for the pelvic floor exercise in case if you are uh, able to do all kind of exercises as well as um, uh if, if there is no or no risk of doing any prenatal exercises always do it under supervision in case if any other questions are there uh, uh you can post it on the comment section i'll try to reply as much as possible till then take care